It is every woman's dream to be known as a woman of class or a woman of elegance or a woman of high value. Now, unfortunately, the majority of the women, we have succumbed to the saying that women are just gossips. Women are just busybodies. Women are just, they will call us anything unless we know a few of the differences that make one group of women classy, elegant, and high value, and then we will graciously leave that classless group, that cheap group, that group that every man or every high-class value woman avoids like a plague. Now, before we dig into the five uh, attributes of women of value, women of class, and women of elegance, please subscribe for me if you have not subscribed before. And if it is your first time, thank you so much for coming. Like this video for if you like the video, YouTube will bring it uh, up and uh, I will benefit and I will have the energy to do more videos for you. Go in the comment section and share with me your own experiences about high class women and the classless team that has decided to remain there. Okay, back to our discussion. What are the five attributes of women of class, women of elegance? Number one, women of elegance, women of class and high value do not associate themselves in gossip. They don't associate themselves in cheap talk. They don't associate themselves in venomous, poisonous discussions that are aimed at bringing people down. They don't get involved in discussions that are assassinating other people's character. It is so unfortunate as women, we have identified ourselves um, with gossip, with uh, cheap talk, with malice, and as busybodies. Now, not all women are like that. There are women who have decided that they cannot associate with gossip. They cannot associate with bringing fellow women down. They cannot associate in undressing their friends, discussing their weaknesses. They cannot associate in bringing the shame of other women to the public, but rather they provide a covering for their women. They would rather go and discuss the weakness of this woman rather than come and discuss it in a group that is just basically going to laugh, carry on the gossip, and that's it. And so women of class do not get involved in gossip. They don't get involved in bringing others down. Now, there is a saying that a lady it is as good as her words. I have known some ladies who, when you start a discussion, and it is about discussing uh, individuals or even someone who is supposed to be your friend, these ladies will never contribute or they will turn the discussion around and create something new or they will stop you. They will not allow you to proceed with that discussion. They will tell you to stop because they don't want to get involved. Now, that is why we, what we call women of class. They will not allow, they will not entertain gossip, and they will not get involved in gossip. Now, gossip is very deadly. It doesn't stop at you talking about somebody else. This same group, or even another group, will turn around, and they will be talking about you, and bringing you down. So it is a give and take kind of thing. Women of class, women of elegance, women of high value don't associate themselves with gossip. Number two, women of high value, the ones I call classy women or women of elegance, they do not run after fashion fads. Now, what do I mean? You really need to understand this very carefully. Is it that they don't dress very well? No. 
they choose their clothes carefully. Now, there is a type of women that will go, oh, today it is the dresses with high slit. Oh, today it is kundisho. Oh, today it is the pleats. And they will run after every fashion fad, whether they look good in it, whether they, they, they look terrible, whether they look uh, uh, miserable in such fashions, they don't mind for as long as they are wearing the current trending fashion. Now, the women of elegance and class, they choose their fashion styles carefully. They are after a sense of style that depicts who they are. Now, uh, elegance and class has so much to do with character. Character inside will determine what you do, how you dress. Now, the women of elegance, they don't run about around with these fashion fads. They will choose whether it is off fashion or whether it is uh, a trending fashion or it is something just uh, w w that they've decided to make for themselves that fits them. And so elegant women are not fashion fad fanatics. Apparently, fashion fads, classless women, will strangle their husbands if there is a new trend of cloth that is coming. You'll find a classless woman wearing a hairpiece that is costing 200,000 or, uh, or even 1 million uh, shillings on her head, and she doesn't look good because the person wearing it doesn't match with what she is wearing. Now, women of elegance, women of class, match their character with the clothes that they put on, with the way they perceive fashion, and their sense of style is always classy, is always elegant, is always to the point, in spite of what is trending in the market. At the end of the day, they have excellent fashion style. Ladies, number three, about the women, attributes of women with uh, high class, women of high class, the women of, ele of elegance, they are desirable. What do, we, do I mean by desirable? You can be with your spouse, with your husband, and he ceases to desire you in spite of how you dress, how well you dress, in spite of how much food you cook, the man stops desiring you. What is it that women of elegance do that makes them very desirable? They combine a good character. They combine the words that come out of them. They combine a, an excellent uh, fashion style and they combine sexiness. Now, when you have a package of all those and you are presentable before your husband, you are not going to stop at being presentable. You are going to be desirable. Desirable to him. He will look at you and he will desire you. Now, I know situations where some women are with, with their husbands, with their spouses, and it's like a brother and sister relationship. You cease to be desirable. There is nothing that gets him to desire you. Because if you are dressing so well, your character is unmatching. If your character is good, then you, you, you're dressing in a manner that turns him off. If you're dressing so well and you, and, and you know the words that come out of your mouth, they turn him off. Now, get a full package and be desirable. And the relationship is going to be very, very enjoyable. Okay, the number four, is it number four? Yes, I think it's number four. A woman of great attributes of class, of, of, uh, of high value, of elegance, will choose the word she speaks very carefully. Let me give you an example. You come into the house and you find this gentleman, your husband, your spouse has made a mistake. How do you address it? Is it a, I don't like what you are saying. Is that how you're going to say? I don't like what you're saying. I cannot accept it. Oh, I feel offended. 
when you say that to me, and I would appreciate if you do not say it again. Now, it is the same message that is communicated by the same person, but the manner in which it is communicated determines whether you have class, elegance, value, or you are classless. A classless woman will shout at the top of her voice. She will scream vulgar words. She will, uh, you know, abuse anyone and bring everyone down by the way she talks. Now, there is no sweetness in a classless woman's mouth. But a woman of elegance, even when she is quarreling with you, even when she's not unhappy, she will make you know that you have crossed the line, that that is not acceptable in a manner that is firm, that is gentle, that does not take her dignity. A woman of class keeps her dignity in her communication. She communicates with grace. She communicates with elegance. She communicates and retains the value. So mark the words that come out of you. Remember, a woman is as good as her words. Now, lastly, but not least, a woman of great class knows the current trends and is very informed. Now, it depends what trends that you are looking for. A classless woman will go after the gossip trends. Even when they are doing a Google search or they are searching uh, on social media, they are always looking for gossip. They are always looking for scandals. They are always looking for whatever they are looking for does not build them up. It doesn't add value to you. It doesn't add money to your pocket. It doesn't add development to you. It doesn't sharpen or inspire anyone around you. But a woman of class will go after information that will increase on their elegance, increase on their value, increase on their class, increase on their knowledge, increase on their grace. Information that is giving them an upper hand, a better class, a better place to bargain and will keep them out of trouble. That is the information that they look for. What information do you look for? on the internet. When you are doing your Google search, searching on Instagram, on other social media platform, what information do you look for? The information you look for will determine whether you're a classless woman or a woman of class, a woman of elegance, and a woman of high value. Let's all persist in being women of value, of high class, and we will change our generation as women and we will be a notch higher than the majority of those that refuse to be women of value. Thank you so much for watching up to the end. Uh, subscribe if it, you have not subscribed before. Like this video, share, go in the comment section and share your views with me. Bye-bye for now.